first though, 10 years ago, most of us wouldn't have had a clue what a vlogger was. But for one mum, taking the brave step to start her own YouTube channel completely changed her life and made her a household name to millions. And Louise Petland joins me. Oh, so good to see you, Louise. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good, thank you. I promise Pearl does cuddle me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she just has her moments. We're all like that. She's allowed to be like that, Louise. Louise, she knows would what you, she wants. Absolutely. Would you have believed all those years ago that you would have been crowned Mumfluencer of the Year? No. Well, 10 years ago, I didn't have children. And also, I was um, the world's worst receptionist. That was my <laughs> official job title. So it's really strange to go from the world's worst receptionist to here um, with you. This is just so weird. And I have my book out today. Like I wrote a book. It's it's weird. It's been a journey. <laughs> You've written a couple of books, Louise. But yes, this book is out today and it's called Mum's Life, What Nobody Ever Tells You About Being a Mum. Um, and yeah. I know it's kind of started out as you sort of talking about motherhood, but it then became much, much more than that, Louise. Yes, it was initially going to be a very light, fluffy book about the highs and lows of motherhood. And it still does have that light and fluff and motherhood, but it's become... Um, a bit of a book about womanhood actually with something for everyone because I've lived a busy life and there's been some pretty low lows in my life. I lost my mum, um, I had a very violent upbringing um, and it led me to be the mother I am now and the woman I am now and I think that a lot of women, we were all shaped by our experiences and I wanted to talk about that and have something that captures everything so for those that like my channel or my instagram or um you know just learning the topics that we all face i thought this would be a good book for them so not just for mums um but it is you know does talk a lot about motherhood and my experiences of it i know you, you talk there just about, about having lost your mum at a very young age you're only seven at the time louise which is utterly devastating but how has that shaped how you are as a mum with your children it's shaped it a lot. I think that, um, oh, look, there she is. She's on telly. <laughs> My mum's on telly. It's nice. Um, I think you have to find the good in every terrible situation. And that's pretty hard uh, in bereavement. But the good that has come from losing mum has meant that I really cherish my time with the girls because I'm all too aware that we don't know how much time we have. So I'm all about making memories. Um, I'm pretty relaxed about things. You know, if Darcy wants to have, you know, a, a chocolatey tree, instead of worrying too much, I'm like, go on then, let's watch a film and have a goodie bowl, as we call it. Um, I like to make the most of every day with them. And that doesn't mean I cherish every day because sometimes motherhood, as you will know, is, is a challenge. Challenging <laughs> is the word we use, isn't it? <laughs> I'm saying challenging because it's morning TV. Yes. And there are other words I'm thinking of, but it's a challenge. Um, but you've got to find the good in things. And I've talked about the good bits in the book and the bad bits and the funny bits because you've got to turn your disasters into comedy moments. You've got to. And yeah. I've had a lot. You have. Well, I mean, Louise, I think your honesty is what has made you this huge success online because, and as we saw even just the little clips there, it's just the everyday stuff that we all do at home. And it's just, there's something quite, there's just something quite comforting about knowing someone else is going through it. Thank you. I think that motherhood and womanhood can be a lonely place to be sometimes. And it's so nice to have someone that you can just switch on and watch and feel close to. I watch other vloggers um, and really enjoy them. And, you know, I watch TV personalities. Like, I love watching you and all the daytime programs. I'm like, oh, it's just a bit of comfort, a bit of company. Just makes you feel a bit uplifted. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we could, we could do with a bit more being uplifted in the world, couldn't we? Especially this year. What a year. I know, completely that. And how has it been for you the past couple of months with the girls and everything as well? Highs and lows, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Highs and lows. <laughs> um, I, I feel a lot better now. I think it's things are easing up a little bit. But initially, um, much like everybody, it was just a shock to the system. And I think um, I went into, I called it surviving, not thriving. You know how um, Megan says you've got to thrive, not survive. I was like, Megan, I'm not. I'm just surviving, <laughs> not thriving. But 
I'm starting to like come out of my little shell, like, hello, I'm going to thrive. <laughs> uh, so I hope 2020 gets a bit better. And I hope having this out and seeing what people think of it, that will that will make 2020 all the better if yeah. they like it. If they don't like it, it'd be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have a sense of competition with others that are doing a similar kind of job to yourself at this point? Or is it a very much a community of vloggers and bloggers and online? I mean, there's no competition really, is there? There's not because social media by nature is social. Um, and I always say all ships rise in high tides because if I were to shout at someone else and say, Christine, you should really check out such and such is amazing. It's not going to take away from me. I'm not going to lose subscribers or income or anything like that. I'm just highlighting to you someone else who is great. So all the mummy influencers, the mum influencers, such a weird name, we all support each other. We're all in a WhatsApp group. We all chat. Um, loads of them are shouting out my book today. Um, and we, we all do the same for each other. So it's so nice to be in an industry that's not, it's not brutal. It's just very loving. And we're all mums, so we just naturally mum each other. Um, it's really, really lovely. Well, it's created love. such opportunities for you, Louise. I mean, we talked earlier yeah. about meeting Pope Francis, which we discussed the last time I saw you. I mean, you're basically there best is. mates with the royals. You're invited to all sorts of parties nowadays. Yeah, I left my shoes at Buckingham Palace once. So if you see the Queen in a pair of Primark nude courts, <laughs> they're mine. Five seven, they're mine. Bits at the back, they're mine. <laughs> no, where they've come from, Louise. It's honestly, it is. It's a great book, and like we say, it's not just about motherhood. It's sort of womanhood. And we didn't even touch on the dating disasters that are in the book. We'll leave that for everyone to read. But all I will say is, Lizard Boy, and no, just read the book, and we'll know what. Uh, <laughs> We know what we're talking about. It I was... hope he's not watching this. Can you imagine if it's wow. like, there's that fella took on that date all those years <laughs> Tell him. Well, he's yeah, in the book, so I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> lizard man, yeah. <laughs> well, Louise, thank you so much, honestly, and send our love to the girls as well there. Thank you, you too. Thanks thank very you. much. Thank you. See you soon, Louise. Bye. 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 Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.